Hello everybody, how the heck are you? I'm gonna do a little blade change in here and I thought I'd show you what we got to do on this type of uh, strap cutter. First thing you gotta do is make sure you're unplugged because you really don't wanna accidentally bump the on and off switch and cut your finger in two. Nobody wants to be six-fingered Pete. I've heard of two-toed Pete, but I never heard of six-fingered Pete. So the first thing we're doing is taking this little thing right here off. What this does is holds your fingers, not my fingers, but the, the machine's fingers in place and those fingers what they do is they keep that trust me because i have forgot to um you know get one set up what it does is it keeps that leather from wrapping around that roller so these now you push them up like that then you can slide your blades out of the way next thing i'm going to do i'm going to leave this till last that's my little safety plexiglass here i got this this right here this is an 11 over 16. Now this is, I think, a German made. I can't remember who makes it. Um, and never, never, never tighten with one of these little dudes. Always use your uh, uh, hand ratchet thing. Simply that'll over torque it and you'll end up stripping it and stuff like that. So once you got these two things here pulled out, those two bolts, this will come right out. Now here, here's the most, very, very, very most important part on this is, remember growing up, we always were told lefty loosey, righty tighty. Well, this one's backwards because of the spin. They had to thread this backwards. So I'm gonna act like I'm tightening it up. Which is the righty, but that actually loosens it. So there's that nut there. That's the most important part. That'll stump a lot of people. I bet you there's been a hundred people that didn't know that little trick right there. And it took me a minute to figure it out. Um, you know, they went and, and they made it tighter. <laughs> and that first, that this is not a spacer. This is just a washer. For that nut so now I'm gonna take this piece of plastic off whoop, whoop, whoop. I dropped my nut I hate it when that happens but golly <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter all right so there's that so now I don't need that we'll put that way over there so now I'm going to sit down here and gingerly, carefully, cautiously, scarily remove a bunch of these and um, probably just remove them. I've got some five eighths and some one halves, even a set of, I don't know if they were three eighths or not. I'll have to double check. Oh, the next thing you got to do is over here, there's a handle. What that does is it lifts not only this table, but it, it or not lifts, but lowers that table and uh, lowers that little rubber cutting pad there. Now the fun part, I got them first set of uh, spacers off. Gotta come back here, move that finger out of the way. And like I said, just I kind of, this will work its way loose. Sometimes, I'll get brave if they're far enough apart like these are. If they're spaced far enough apart, I can get in here like this and pull that off and I got a little spot right there I put it at. Now I'll come over here and get these out of the way. These are set up for cutting inch and a half belts um, or straps. If you use them for a belt, great. If not, well, 
And these blades are super duper 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 sharp. Move your fingers, David. These fingers. Woo! I hate it when that happens. Ay, ay, ay. I hate it when that happens. Because you never know where that's going to land. And you don't want to be in here with no flip-flops. I got leather shoes on for that reason right there. <laughs> That blade I dropped, I'll probably have to take it and uh, it's probably got a nick or two in it. Now, those blades, you can send them to Campbell Bosworth. They're in Conroe, Texas. Um, did I say... Campbell Bosworth, I'm sorry. Uh, it's actually Campbell and Randall in, in uh, Conroe. Hey, yeah, yeah, I almost dropped that one too. And they'll sharpen them for like, I think it's $5 each, which is about half the price of what one would cost. So let me pull you around over here real quick. And... show you that right there. I need to come a little bit more this way. But I'm fixing to cut me some reins out of some heavy harness I got. So yes, I could stack some more up in there, but guess what? That'll just take some more time. I can just as easily run some of them run some of them again with what I've already got here. Uh, I'll have to get my little 13 millimeter. A lot of this stuff on this thing is metric. So remember that. And I don't have cotton. Oh, I do have a ruler in here. So uh, I, it's been a long time since I've used this. So we've got five eighths, five eighths, five eighths, five eighths, Five eights, five eights, five eights, five eights, one half, and one half. One half isn't very popular, so I'll cut one pair of them for all the other five eights. Five eights usually is the most popular size. I might come back after I finish this video and, and throw some uh, three quarters in there as well. In fact, I'm going to do that. Just because there's people that do like a three eight a three quarter inch um, split reins is what I'm making. I'll probably make some uh, roping reins as well, bell reins or you know loop reins, whatever you want to call them. So anyway, I'm gonna cut you loose now. Remember when you put this back together again? Remember what's the most important thing? Most important thing, right there. It is not lefty. Loosey, righty, tidy. It's the opposite of. It's reverse threaded. Which the only way I could, you know, I got lucky enough when I first got this machine. Uh, that nut, there was just enough of that thread showing that I, I could see that, oh, wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. So there's that. And then don't forget, whenever you get your new blades put in there, make sure you got enough fingers See, like I won't be able to do but one, one, two, three, four. So I can get two pair of three quarters cut with each run now. If I add those three quarter inches like I think I'm going to do. All right, kids, have a good night, a good day, or whenever you watch this thing. Toodaloo, buggeroos, and come see me at davidmillssaddlery.com.